Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. So excited you're here with me today. We are going to be making three fun die cut window cards. I'm using the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set and dies and these dies cut out a lot of the cute images here in, well all of them actually, and then it's got this gorgeous pineapple and um, then there's this beautiful paper as well. These um, items are going to be available January 3rd. So these are actually not even available yet, but on January 3rd you'll be able to purchase them. And here is a bunch of the extra dies that are in this set, which I think is really fun. So there's not an image, stampable image for them, but there's some leaves and flowers that you can cut out in addition. Then you have this gorgeous paper, and I thought I'd just kind of give you a really quick look at it. Um, all of these items are part of the Tropical, I think it's called Tropical Oasis Suite. Look at that flamingo paper. Oh, I love it. I love flamingos. I don't really know why, because they're overall stinky birds, but I really do like them. I think they're kind of cool. So, um... And then there's this cool thing, and I love this dragon fruit on the front of that paper. I don't know if you ever had dragon fruit, but it's it's pretty good. It's okay. Okay, so we have a piece of eight and a half by five and a half uh, cardstock here, and I'm scoring it at each end at two and an eighth. So you're just gonna kind of flip it around on your um, trimmer or your scoring tool, and you're gonna score it two and an eighth from each end. Then I am adding strips of the designer series paper. These strips are cut at two inches and five, <laughs> five and three eighths. That seems right. Um, yeah, five and three eighths. So I'm adhering those down to each side. Now, right here, just so you know, this could be a card in and of itself without doing any die cutting. Um, you could have this fun um, opening kind of like a gate fold, I think is what they call that, and you could be done. But I wanted to take it a step further and die cut the front and have the pineapple inside. Now, something we need to discuss, that these cards that I have made are really cute. They probably could use a belly band. A belly band is a basically a band that goes all the way around the card to keep a card shut. I really went back and forth on if I wanted to make a belly band because frankly, if somebody's opening a card, they have it in an envelope, you, the envelope is going to keep the front flap shut. But if you have a belly band, then when the card comes out of the envelope, it still keeps everything closed. So as you saw here, I adhered everything to the right side of the panel on the card front, and then I die cut. I die cut by opening the panel up and then running it through my die cutting machine. So you obviously don't want to run it through with it closed because then it would cut into the back of your card and you don't want that. Okay, so now I am simply flipping this over to the other side and I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to adhere tape onto the other side of the card. So I'm kind of wiggling that die into place. You can feel where it fits, um, where it cut the other side. So I'm just, you know, taking a second here to get that in place really well, make sure it's in the right spot. Sometimes it takes a little longer than others. Um, ultimately, my goal is to keep it in place and just move the tape, but that just didn't work out uh, for this. So I had to actually re kind of reset it. So wiggling in place, getting it all pushed in, adding the adhesive to the left side, and then going ahead and popping all that out. Now, you see that I have all of these little sticky pieces going into the center of this frame. I did not want those, so I cut them away, and don't be scared to do this. Um, I cut them away so that it wouldn't be quite so intricate and delicate at the top there where the pineapple spikes go. Does anyone know what the top of a pineapple is called? Does it have a special name? I don't know. 
Anyway, so I just kind of go through with my paper snips and trim all of these away. You will notice I am moving kind of fast. I did speed this video up because when I put all this footage together, it was like 51 minutes long. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, can't really take an hour of people's lives to show them three cards. Um, but you know, that includes me die cutting and heat embossing and like ink blending and all these kinds of things. And you don't have to watch me do all of that in regular motion. So, um, I'm just continuing to trim away all those pieces and then I can fit my die cut down in the center and, um, and add it to the card base inside, inside. That's the key. Cause when you open it, then you've got this fun window. Now, you don't always have to do like inter intricate die cuts to have a window opening card like this. You can do an oval shape or a square with the front cut out and um, have it be, you know, kind of like a surprise on the inside. And I do have a card at the end of the video that's kind of like that. So you'll see what I'm talking about. But I really love these and I think they're super fun because they're very unexpected. So um, I'm taking that pineapple and then just kind of flipping up all these little pieces of the pineapple in the center. These pieces, um, are, I think are meant to, to do that. They're meant to kind of poke out and that gives dimension to the pineapple piece. Um, something I considered doing was cutting a second pineapple piece to go behind this one so that you didn't have the blue peeking through, but I ended up opting to just go ahead and and do it like this and it was fine because you totally still understand that it's a pineapple it's not a big deal same here popping these up the other thing you could do if you wanted to take the time is you could ink blend um, use a little bit of ink on the ends of these uh, solid card stocks to give them a little bit more dimension um, again I just was keeping it fairly simple. The wow is having the die cut out of the middle of the card. So I didn't take a bunch of time doing extra things. I did, however, cut the little Aloha sentiment out of Whisper White cardstock three times and I stacked it up and you'll see that here in a second. So it's almost like a little chipboard piece. Isn't this cool? I just love it. Um, but you see here what I'm talking about. Okay the sides just pop up. So if you want those to stay down, you need to create a belly band. And if it doesn't bother you, then you can do it just like this and send it in the mail. And then when they open the card, it will pop up and that's fine. So it's just kind of a preference thing. Um, I could do it either way. It wouldn't be a big deal to me. So we're going to add the Aloha to the top of the pineapple and we're done. This card's finished. Super cute. So this card is cut at four inches by eight and a half. And I'm taking the little leaf um, image in the set and stamping it randomly on these two pieces of um, Granny Apple Green. And I'm stamping in Granny Apple Green ink. By the way, I don't think I said this earlier, but there was a pop-up. If you need any of these supplies, there is a link below the video. Just note, that several of the items will not be available until the new catalog launches on January 3rd. So if you're watching this after January 3rd, you're good to go. We're scoring at two and an eighth from each end. So this finished card base will be, let me think about it. <laughs> It'll be four and a quarter by four. So the little panels here, the granny apple green panels are cut at three and seven eighths by two inches and then I'm adhering them down just like we did on the other card and then we're going to cut that flower out of the front and we're going to do exactly what we did with the other card. So now I'm going to break into a little bit of story time. If you're new to my channel, um, I always like to share some personal anecdotes or stories about things going on in my life um, and I jump back and forth between that and stamping. So if that's not your jam, I understand. Feel free to click away. But if you want to hang out with us, then that's that's how we roll over here on this channel. So um, I was going to die cut this and then I thought, okay, Wendy, what, she, what do you do first? So I went ahead and decided to die cut the flower part out of the front of this card base first and then 
do my stamping inside and I just kind of eyeballed where a leaf would need to go because these leaves are going to get covered up um, by the uh, flower once I put it down. And then we're going to color. And I've sped the coloring up quite a bit. We're doing dark lovely lipstick, light lovely lipstick, dark flirty flamingo, and light flirty flamingo. The darkest areas would be anywhere that the flowers overlap or that they would make an indention. So you can kind of see I'm adding dark in different areas. When I first finished this flower, I did not like it. After I tried it in the card base, I did. So, you know, sometimes you just have to roll with things and see see how it turns out. And I, I, the reason I didn't like it is I didn't like my coloring. But after I looked at it, Oh, looked it over in the card. I was like, okay, it's it's good. I actually colored it twice um, because I was unhappy the first time. But anyway, I digress. So story time. Okay, this week um, I am actually recording this video Monday morning before I put it on YouTube um, because life has been interesting. So as it always is with me, right? <laughs> so what day was it? Wednesday. Um, my husband goes to work like normal. I get a phone call at like 5.30 a.m. My car is broke down on my way into work. I need you to come get me and take me to work. Oh, fantastic. So I get up, um, get everything situated, you know, get out of the house and take him all the way into work. On our way into work, he says to me, um, I'm just done with that car. Like, okay, so first of all, we have an old commuter car we've had for six years. It has 250,000 miles on it. It's a Mitsubishi Lancer. My husband is six foot five and about 240 pounds. He's a really big dude. So it's he drives this little bitty commuter car to work every day because we live about, I would say, a good 35 to 40 minutes from his work each way. So, okay, isn't that gorgeous? Look how beautiful. I love it. This would be a really good belly band card. I didn't even do a sentiment because I'm going to add a belly band, I think, with a sentiment. So there's that. In order to make those two little ovals, I stacked two ovals together and die cut them out of basic black cardstock. Here I'm going to do some ink blending using Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Pumpkin Pie, and Daffodil Delight. It is one of my favorite ink blending combinations for kind of like a sunset dusk skyline. I do all of my ink blending twice because you pretty much have to in order to get really smooth ink blended looks. Um, okay, so I so he says to me in the car on the way, I just want another commuter car for about 3000 bucks, something reliable, but you know, I like we're done with this car. I don't want to have to fix it anymore. So I say, okay, you know, whatever. And I think to myself in my head, like, ugh, right before Christmas, we're going to have to try to figure out, like, how to get him a commuter car. He will be off work for two weeks, thank God. So I was like, okay, well, at least he'll be off work. And it's not, like, urgent, urgent to figure this out. Because the only other vehicle we have for him to drive to work would be his big truck. And it takes a ton of gas. So I don't want that. Not to mention here I am being my little, you know, environmentally friendly. It's just like not great, right? To drive that big old thing to work every day. So, um, he calls me. So my plan is I have to go to physical therapy and have my appointment. Oh my gosh. So this is totally Friday. I told you it was Wednesday that it happened. It was Friday. So I go to my physical therapy point. Side note, look at the mini trimmer. It's to die for. You can get it for free when you join Stampin' Up! in January. So January through March, you can get that mini trimmer for free. Um, hit me up if you want to know more about that. Okay, so I've die cut the oval out of the front of this card. And now I'm adhering this piece into the inside of the card. And we're going to go from there. Um, so he, so I go to my physical therapy appointment. My plan is to do a little bit of like last minute Christmassy stuff and then be ready to go pick him up from work. 
Um, so he calls me about one o'clock and he's like, look, you don't have to come get me from work. My foreman has a car that he doesn't need to use because he's on call. So he's going to be using the company truck and he's like, I'm just going to drive it home and it's a little commuter car. Also, he's selling it wait for it for $3,000. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding. How amazing is that? So within like seven hours, my husband has secured a new commuter car. So he drove it home. We, I drove it a little bit. It's got a little damage on the front hood, like the paint is peeling. Um, but it's a little Honda Accord. It's great. Like it runned great. It run, <laughs> it ran great. I, it seems fine to me. Um, so I told him, you know, it, it just, like he said, it just seems meant to be like, what are the odds that, and this person that he works with isn't somebody he normally, like, this isn't the crew that he's normally on. He was actually not even supposed to work on Friday. Um, he was supposed to stay home and then he got asked to work by this foreman who's different than his normal foreman. So it, it was kind of, to me, it was a God thing. Like he's like, what a coincidence. And I'm like, um, yeah, the big man had something to do with this. So had it been a different day, you know, maybe he would have never even known that this car was for sale or whatever. So I think we're buying it. I mean, I don't know. I, he was going to go to work and talk to the guy. So I think we're going to buy it and that will be that. And that will give him a commuter car to get to and from work, gets good gas mileage, um, the whole thing. So yay for that. So that was kind of the weird, fun thing that happened Friday. Um, and it was a little, little bit of excitement for us with that whole situation. Um, the other car we just had towed back to her house. Oh yeah, so that's the other thing. So some of you might know who Katina is. She is another YouTuber and um, she does live near me and her husband is a tow truck driver. So he, I text him and I said, um, you know, hey, Kevin's car broke down. It's at this place. Can you pick it up and just have it tow trucked back to our house. And he's like, yeah, sure. And in addition, he was kind enough. I glued all those little leaves down, by the way. He was kind enough to use his AAA card so that we didn't have to pay for the tow. So that was really nice because it's Christmas and we've spent a ton of money on gifts and prepping for having people at our house, um, food and all that. I needed to ground these little trees. I could not just leave them like floating in the air when you open the card. So I put the little lines there. So that's it. Then we're going to trim off the excess leaves. I really love how this card turned out. When I first looked at it, I was like, eh, I'm not a big fan. But then after I looked at it a little more, I was like, you know, it's kind of cool. It's a little, it's unique and it's fun. And so it's a little unexpected, I think, the way I did the leaves on the front. So I liked it. I liked how it turned out in the end. Um, so anyway, Friday was eventful. Got all my Christmas stuff done that I needed to get done. Um, husband got a car. We got a free tow. And that's all she wrote. That is story time for today. And here are the finished cards. I thought I would go back and show them to you one more time and how fun they are. Like I said, you could add that belly band if you wanted to, but you really don't need to. They are super fun just by themselves. And there are three different window ideas using the Tropical Oasis suite. Fun. I love it. And I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I think it's Tropical Oasis. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. Click on either one of the videos you see here to watch them. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe. Shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.